From WFRV TV Local 5, your local election headquarters, this is Newsmaker Sunday with your host, Tom Zalaski. Good morning. Welcome to Newsmaker Sunday. I'm Tom Zalaski. Well, we are well into the second year of the COVID-19 pandemic. It has changed so many lives across Wisconsin and across the country as a whole. But of course, there is hope that the vaccines will bring an end to this pandemic at some point. Anna Destry is the Brown County Public Health Officer, and she joins us now this morning to talk about this pandemic. Good morning, Anna. Thanks so much for joining us, being with us today. Well, good morning. Thank Anna, you. Can you give us some idea where are we today versus where we were a year ago or is it that a year ago we really didn't know what we were in for yeah you know absolutely we have learned a lot in the last year mm -hmm. if you think about it the virus was a novel virus so there was we knew there'd be a steep learning curve right. um, with that meant we had to learn how does the virus work how does it spread what do we have to do to respond to it so we learned a lot along the way I mean we've learned how quickly we can mobilize response efforts, for example, vaccination sites, testing centers. Uh, we learned about how excellent our partners are in the community. I can't even begin to tell you how great our partners are here. Mm -hmm. In fact, things would not be what they are now had it not been for our community partners. So we've learned a lot. So when we can look back right from then to now, we can say, wow, we can quickly put up a vaccination site. Uh, we can look around and we can see the majority of people are masking, that businesses have put safety measures in place. And we can see that people have learned from us and that we've come a long way in this past year. Now, Brown County is the largest county in our area that, that we're working with here. Um, how does Brown County stack up to other counties as far as uh, case numbers? Sure. So Brown County is the largest in the area. And if you think the state, it, we have the third largest city in the state of Wisconsin. So naturally, we're going to have a lot of cases here. If you look at it from a case rate perspective, and not just the number of cases, but the percentage of cases of our population, then you start to see fluctuating numbers. You know, sometimes our case rates were higher uh, than the agencies around us, and sometimes they were lower. It just really depends, and it continues to fluctuate to this day. So how are we trending? Do you know? Yeah, so right now we are currently trending in the high activity level compared to DHS, okay. uh, according to the DHS data, I should say. And that's much better than what we did in the past. So in February, I'm sorry, in March, it's much better than we did in the fall and winter when we were seeing critical levels. Mm -hmm. So we are trending down. However, it's definitely not the time to give up because yeah. we don't want to go in the opposite way and trend backwards. Yeah, you say don't give up. So besides uh, masking and besides social distancing, you know, what else can we do to help the situation? So definitely the vaccine is now available to us. Yeah. So we encourage people to go get the vaccine when they can. Uh, continuing the other measures, so staying home and sick is a big one. Uh, if you're sick, please don't go out. Uh, hand washing, all those hand, hand hygiene and, and sanitization things we've been talking about, cleaning, all still very important tools in our toolbox to stop the spread from occurring further. Okay, so the uh, the mandate, mask mandate, it was struck down by the the Supreme Court recently, uh, which I don't imagine uh, was uh, very taken very well in in, in your office. Uh, uh, do you worry about that? That the progress is gonna is gonna step back now? So I, by now, people have in general made up their minds on whether they're gonna wear a mask or not. Mandate or not, the public health recommendations are going to continue to be the same. You know, we know we know they work. The science is there. Masks work, and they're effective at stopping the spread of yeah. COVID nineteen. And, and mandate or not, uh, to still go to the grocery store or, or or to Walgreens, you still have to wear the mask, no matter what the Supreme Court uh, uh, said. So, we're almost forced into into in, in, into doing this. Uh, what about big events that are coming up? You know, I know you've seen, I've seen in the past couple of days even, uh, advertisements for big concerts that are that are now in the offing. Do you worry about that? So there's always been a chance for risk with any sort of event. We've yeah. said that from day one. So when what we do know is that a lot of these event holders, uh, the facilities, they are taking and putting precautions in place, oftentimes working directly with public health to do so. Um, so that's great news. Um, there's also the individual responsibility piece to this. Uh, you know, people have a choice. If they go to these events, are they wearing masks? Are they social distancing? 
Um, if they are sick, are they staying away from the event? So there's always, there's the personal choice piece as well. And you know, if we can do those things, then going to events become a lot less risky. Yeah, so if I really want to go to this event, what's the be best way I can stay safe going to the event? Well, understand what precautions are in place at the event. Do your research. Uh, do they have precautions in place? Are you comfortable with what's there? Mm -hmm. And then when you go yourself, just making sure you're doing it. Are you masking? Are you social distancing? You know, you do all those things and you can be there pretty, pretty worry-free. Our guest, Anna Destry, more with her from Brown County Health right after this, so please stay with us.